Anderson. I welcome you here at the SMART Automotive for Rhine conference in Berlin. And many thanks that you took the time speaking to us. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we can start off, um, you can give us a short introduction of your company and what sort of um, company Config it is. The, we in Config it, we are a software vendor. So we are focused on doing uh, software configuration. So we have worked in this field for 15 years and we have developed various products that can help companies deal with the challenges with respect to configuration management. So what does your software do exactly? Yeah, so the software helps in various of the important business processes when you have complex products that are highly configurable. So we can help companies sell their solutions so that um, salespeople can create uh, good quotations for customers that meet the customer's uh, demands and what they offer to the customer is is, is valid configurations that you can really deliver to the customer's satisfaction. Uh, an important part of that is, is getting the information gathered from different systems in a company. Mm -hmm. So you'll have product information in your product lifecycle management systems. You will have pricing information in your ERP system. And you've got to have all these kind of informations come together if you want to make a good solution where you get the right information out to the customers uh, at the point of sales. What do you do for automotive manufacturers? Yes, yeah, so for automotive manufacturers, it's, uh, uh, configuration is a huge challenge. You, um, you see a, a highly increasing complexity in the vehicles. You are working at global markets where you have, might be selling in 170 markets. You have an increasing number of local homologation rules. All that adds up to being, it being very complex to uh, manage your product offering. Um, and what we do there is really we offer a solution for configuration lifecycle management where there is an enterprise-wide solution where you can define your offering of your products, all the rules uh, you have, all the communication rules, the rules that are driven by the different markets, uh, and you can use that throughout the enterprise. So you, you start using it in the early product development phases. As a product mature until uh, mass production, you use the system to share the information and develop the product. And then when it goes into production, you use that information for uh, selling the products, for manufacturing them, and for servicing uh, the products after they've been delivered. So it's actually it's a full cycle, and that's why we call it a configuration lifecycle management. It's a full uh, life cycle of your definition of the products, but also the life cycle of the individual products. So when you buy them, then come with the configuration, and during the lifetime, you might change that because you upgrade it or you change parts on it when it goes to service. Uh, and we have a solution that helps in, in the full cycle from, um, from cradle to grave. And what do you consider as your major challenges regarding variant management? Yeah, so I think the, the, the key challenge that companies are facing this day with uh, variant management is the need for integration. So many companies have uh, developed their own solutions or bought in solutions that solve part of the problem. But they are siloed systems, they don't talk together. Uh, and that makes it very difficult to manage change and keep up with the speed of innovation uh, because you have to repeat your definitions of your product in these different systems and they, they will be misaligned and you'll have errors. So I see the key challenge is getting integration, getting mm -hmm. a single point of truth with respect to uh, configuration. And, and this is how we approach the market. That's what we offer to the market to, to implement systems for that. And how can a manufacturer migrate a new solution? Yeah, so that's, um, that's of course a concern if you have a system running, perhaps on 30-year-old systems, and now you're going to move to a new solution. How are you going to do that? Because if you get it wrong, you might stop production. And uh, for uh, automotive manufacturers, stopping a production line will be uh, hundreds of thousands of euros you lose per day if it's not millions of, of euros. So you don't want to do that. So you have to find a good migration path. And, and what we propose to do there is take uh, part of the systems, keep the old systems, but then start replacing uh, other of the systems to a new platform. And by that, you, you know, you minimize the risk and you get the comfort that it really works. And then in the end, you'll have transferred all your old legacy in, into a new system. And, and there are ways of, of doing that, which, which we recommend that, that you use. So we'll ask question, um, how do you see the future of configuration management? Yeah, so um, I see no signs that complexity will re be reduced in automotive. It's just growing. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
And you can see that uh, at this event, we hear a lot of people talking about that, see the challenges they have. And with the new technologies coming into the cars, with all the software, we're soon going to have self-driving cars. Uh, all that is just going to grow, it's going to be more and more complex. So I, I see a, a, a big need for uh, finding good ways to handle uh, variant management also in the, in the future. Okay, so thank you very much for the interesting insight into your company, into your branch and you two challenges. Um, and I hope you will enjoy the conference. Thanks, I'm sure I will. Okay. It's very promising. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.